tonight sees TV presenter and journalist Dawn Porter taking a long, hard look at her family's history of breast cancer. Having lost both her mum and great-grandmother to the disease, she sets out to find out whether she carries the gene and if there's a chance that breast cancer could kill her. Think about how much joy my boobs bring me and how much I like to put pretty bras on and how I like to show off my cleavage and I love having big boobs. But then the idea that these could potentially be the things that could threaten my life makes me look at them in a whole different way. They're such a joy to me that they could potentially kill me. Now, Cole, your family, of course, has been quite mm. badly affected by breast cancer. So is that something that you think about? And would you consider, you know, going for tests to see if you've got the gene? <clears throat> well, because two of my sisters had breast cancer, um, obviously, straight away you all think about it and you think, is this genetic? Because obviously you assume it is. With them. And one of my sisters went and had the um, gene examination done. Right. And she was something like 80% she was carrying the gene. And then I decided, you know what, I probably am. I'm just going to take it for granted that I am. And just it just made me more vigilant, really. I'm really, you know, I check myself all the time. And if I'm worried about anything, I go straight to the doctors. You know, because it is in my family, it's very close to home. Yeah. And I know that it's one of those diseases that if they catch it in time, it's curable. You know, so I'm very aware of it. And I worry actually more for my daughter. And I worry for my nieces. Because normally it's if your mother and your sister, or no, your mother and your auntie have had it. Um, it can be that it's, it's genetic. Much, much so I worry likely. about my nieces because obviously their mum and yeah. their auntie have had it. And you've also had Alzheimer's in your family, haven't you? And there was that article today um, that drinking two cups of coffee a day could be beneficial in slowing and maybe even reversing the effects of mm. Alzheimer's. Obviously, they're going to need a lot of further testing and, yeah. and stuff well, I mean, before with, that with Alzheimer's, Alzheimer's, You know, Alzheimer's is a completely different thing because I... I really worry about that because I, you know, I saw, I watched my mother go through that and, and what it did to her and what it did to us as a family. And um, <clears throat> I'm not sure, certainly at this stage, that at, at the moment I don't think that there is a link that it can be hereditary at the moment. You know, they, they are, I think they're I trying think to find out there if there is. is. The thing is that but I don't want to know. You don't want to know. Because there isn't a cure for that. And so what I would do is I would probably yeah. spend the rest of my life worried sick every single day this yeah. is it. and knowledge I don't want to know about that knowledge is power but it's also neurosis isn't it I mean yeah I'm all for checking up and mm. being aware of your health to a degree but the trouble is you know if you spend your life worrying about what you might get mm. you I just it, I mean I understand um, if you've got a, a history of breast cancer obviously mm. and uh, I'm with Colleen on the Alzheimer's I mean my mother had Alzheimer's I think that I think you know they, ha they have thought it can be hereditary mm. it depends which Alzheimer's but 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 to be honest I think you've just got to be careful and be aware get on and enjoy your yeah. life yeah. but I mean I do think there is there's, there is a certain worth in in sort of finding these things out if what if you're trying to find out something over which you can exert an effect. For example, if you were worried about heart disease, to have a scan or some kind of testing, you can turn that around. You know, yeah. you can change your diet, you can yeah. stop smoking, you can do you can do things to prevent it happening. So in that instance, I think knowledge is power. Or stop yourself worrying. Or stop yourself worrying about it and mm -hmm. get the all clear. And yeah. like my dad did that. He had one of those uh, all over life scan things and he was convinced, absolutely convinced that he any any day every day was a bonus after sixty five and he was convinced any minute now he's gonna drop dead from a heart attack because he's a big big guy enjoys life big time and he went and got this life scan and he got absolutely the all clear and it's given him a, a, a renewed vigor because now it looks like he's probably got another 20 years mm. you know touch wood so it's kind of given him a nice sunnier outlook but still there are no guarantees are there you know I, I just I do think I think your cards marked and you know I just don't think there's much you can do about that you know all of us have got a, a high chance of getting breast cancer because we're because we're women you know you have probably a higher chance or that's what they'll tell you but there's no you know you might you might not get it you know and, and I just think there's no point in worrying yourself stupid I know people who have regularly go for these sort of um, MRI scans or it's something that, that is, is in, a, in my view, completely unnecessary and you're subjecting yourself to a lot of radiation that you don't need to. And I think that a lot of the time that doesn't help. You know, who knows how cancer starts? Who knows, you know, why some people get it and some people don't? You know, for all we know, we might all have cancerous cells in our bodies. It takes something to trigger, to trigger it, to it. make it, mm. you know, start, you know, to start to kill you. Um, 
And I just think, I just, I feel personally that I would just want to leave, I want to leave well alone. You know, and I do things to try and prevent, you know, I know my diet, my diet's good, and I, I've had certain checks, you know, to, for, for diabetes, because there's diabetes in my family. Um, and I know all, all those things, I'm okay. And there, it is about self-diagnosis, and it's about early diagnosis on certain things that you can do something about. Mm. But there are a lot of things that you can't do anything about, and I don't see the point in ruining the rest of my life worrying about the fact that I might get something, because I might get it anyway. Mm. Right, well,